Alrighty, it is time to rank another soundtrack. And this time I'm going to be doing Jurassic Park on the Sega Genesis. As usual, I'm just doing the stage themes. So there's no cutscene music, no ending, no main theme. Even though this isn't the main theme of Jurassic Park. There's only one Jurassic Park theme and this isn't it. But I digress. So there were eight stage themes in this game. Uh, there are two stages that you don't play as the raptor. This is the raptor in the Grant mode. The raptor does not play two of the stages, although the canyon theme is different when you're Grant. It's the same theme as the volcano theme. So I've decided to classify them as canyon and volcano separately. Even though you're hearing the volcano theme when you're Grant, it's, it, you know, it is what it is. Whatever. I also did include the extra segment of the power station when you're in uh, playing as Grant. There's a segment of the stage that has a different theme when you're sneaking through the vents. Because even though it's not the main uh, stage theme, I you know it's a, it's a song that plays during the stage. So I did include it in. So we've got eight songs all together to rank. I'll preface this like I always do by saying that this list is just strictly my opinion. You're more than welcome to voice your own opinion if you'd agree, disagree, just as long as you respect my opinion and everybody else's who also lets their opinion be heard. So without any further ado, let's get on with the list. Number eight, Canyon. It's got a pretty cool intro, but then after that, it's pretty much just a weaker version of the jungle stage for the rest of the way. For some reason, like I said before in the intro, you only hear this when you're playing as the Raptor. The Volcano song plays when you're Grant in this stage. And it's a short stage when you're the Raptor, so you really won't hear this one for too long. It's got some nice tones, particularly in the bass, and I like the choppy percussion. But you can say the same thing about nearly all the other songs on the soundtrack. This one is purely filler. Like I said, that was a short stage, so it won't drone out on you and you won't get tired of hearing it. Number seven, Jungle. It, this one is entirely rhythm section. It's just bass and percussion. The bass is up tempo. It's a really cool, groovy riff, but it's really just one change. It's a quick change before it goes back to the main riff. And that change is just really another variation of the main riff. So there's not a lot of variety here. I and mean, there's no real lead instrument per se. The bass is pretty much the, the lead, but with the limited amount of riffs and the, the drums being minimal also, I mean, they just kind of splash in there, here and there, and, and there's some dinosaur noises that fill in some of the gaps. But with the lack of variety and the uh, repetitive nature, it's got to rank low on this list. But I will say that it's, it's pretty jumpy. It's got a nice groove and kind of like the canyon it's got some nice tones to it but again you can you can say that about the the rest of the soundtrack too number six the power station part two so this is the one that's only heard for a brief period in the one section of the power station when you're grant it's kind of weird that this is the only stage that cuts to different music at all never mind cutting once and then cutting back to the main song again and it's a decent little riff that kind of sounds like an opening to a spy movie or something. It is quite out of place from the rest of the soundtrack, but it does at least stand out. Number five, River. This one's only in the Grant stage, and it's a pretty short loop, kind of, sort of. There's a synth loop that plays back, and the pattern is consistent, but it does change key in a few parts. There's the sustained chord that pitch bends right at the beginning, and it just comes out of nowhere when the loop ends and comes back. I don't know if this was due to a lack of ideas on how to get it back to the beginning, or if they were actually going for this effect, but either way, it works. The rest of the way is tense and rapid, like a river, but there's a nice contrast with this subdued bass riff. Besides the key changes, there's also another section where the bass plays an entirely different riff, but it doesn't really feel like it's going off in a new direction. That synth loop keeps it all moving in one direction. 
It's not a catchy song, but it definitely hits the mood. Number four, Volcano. This one is also a Grant-only stage, but you hear it twice when you're playing as him, as it replaces the Canyon song, as mentioned earlier. I do like this one more than Canyon, but I'd still rather hear each song once than one of them twice. Anyway, it has a really loud, in-your-face core to me intro, and then it calms down immediately. It probably symbolizes the eruption of a volcano. But the calm nature really would be more appropriate of an inactive volcano rather than an active one. Because after the eruption, it's not like shit is calm or anything like that. But despite how it's debatable on whether or not it works for the stage, as a song, it does have some cool parts. Besides that intro that I was mentioning. There's a lot of empty space. The song has a lot of room to breathe. But the lead synth that pops in there periodically is quite ominous, and I really like the brush hi-hats that flutter in between. On the other hand, the bass has this riff that's kind of goofy. The tone really sounds cartoony, and it makes the leads sound a little like a cheesy elementary school Halloween song. But I like the lead riffs, I like the percussion, and I like that booming intro, especially when it comes back around when the loop starts over again. It's so abrupt that it has the same effect as the intro. Number three, Power Station Part 1. It has a pulsing bass, and similar to the volcano, the percussion is minimal but effective with how it slips in there from time to time with those little rolls. There are some of these, I don't know, glockenspiel-esque type of little bells that are sprinkled in there during what I guess is the bridge. It has a nice tone, I like how subdued the whole thing sounds, and the recurring riff is this ugly, creaky trombone, I think. It doesn't always sound the same, and it doesn't always sound in time, it, or in the right key. It's, it's so imperfect that it's perfect. Number two, Pump Station. Aside from the number one entry, this is the most complete song of the soundtrack. There's definitely more going on in the arrangement. The beat is steadily played throughout, and there are quite a few segments that all sound quite different from each other. It's upbeat all throughout, but some parts like the intro and the main verse, the instrumentation follows that pace, but then there's a breakdown where there's more empty space. And there are some nice touches like the clean guitar that's heard in the background in the main verse. There aren't any amazing moments, but it's solid all throughout, and there's a good deal of variety. And number one, The Visitor Center. This is the best song on the soundtrack by a mile. It has lots of energy, it sounds full, and the tones of all the instrumentation are well chosen. The stabby riff when the main verse kicks in is a nice build to the bridge. And it's the only song on the soundtrack where the end of the loop transitions fluidly to the beginning. Most of them are abrupt and out of nowhere. It's an earworm too. There really aren't any other catchy songs on the soundtrack, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Catchy doesn't always mean good. I mean, just because it gets stuck in your head doesn't mean you want it to be there. But this is an example of a good one. Only thing I'll say is that it recycles a bass riff from Pump Station or at the very least, it has the same pattern. Or Pump Station recycles from the Visitor Center. I don't know. It's chicken or the egg. But whatever. It doesn't do anything to take these two off of the one and two spots. So that's it for this ranking. Here's a quick recap. Number eight was the Canyon. Number seven, Jungle. Number six, the Power Station Part Two. Number five, The River. Number four, Volcano. Number three, Power Station Part One. Number two, Pump Station. And number one, Visitor Center. So that's it for this ranking. What are your thoughts and opinions? Do you agree, disagree? And what uh, would you, or how would you rank them? So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.